Welcome to Annuity News Now. The Center for a Secure Retirement has released its latest study. Now, the Retirement Healthcare for Middle Income Americans seeks to understand the role that healthcare plays in retirement satisfaction. My guest is Chris Campbell. He is Vice President of Strategic Marketing for Bankers Life. Chris, it's a pleasure. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, it's my pleasure, Scott. Thank you. So talking about uh, Medicare overall, uh, this is a pretty comprehensive study. Um, how are the baby boomers getting ready to start uh, approaching Medicare? Well, our study found that uh, they're not doing much uh, to get ready f uh, for Medicare. We, in the course of the study, talked to both people that are currently on, me on the Medicare program as well as those that uh, the baby boomers that are approaching. I'm asking in the same set of questions, and we found that uh, boomers, to the largest extent, were very unfamiliar with mm -hmm. even the most basic components of Medicare, uh, like how much uh, you know, basic hospitalization uh, and doctor visits cost, uh, as well as um, other services that are and are not available um, as part of a, a Medicare offering. Uh, it looks like, uh, from what I can see in the study, that uh, many baby boomers, many people in the survey, feel that they at least know a little bit better uh, about healthy living. Yet the population in America from other studies seems to show that everybody's getting overweight. Um, how does this information affect things? I mean, one of the primary pieces of advice that uh, comes from the, the study is the importance of staying healthy. And uh, I think there's a distinction between what uh, boomers and, and retirees know and, and say, uh, which mm -hmm. is that health is very important to having a, a, f a fulfilling retirement. Um, and they'll tell us, you know, 77% have, have improved their diets and eating habits. 65% mm -hmm. uh, are taking steps to reduce stress. Um, that doesn't necessarily equate to uh, actual results. And I think there's, um, as you cited, certainly evidence that uh, there's still more work that uh, they need to do to have a healthy retirement. Well, considering what they, uh, what they go on from a knowledge base, it, it appears that many Americans or baby boomers getting ready for retirement are, are planning to sort of learn as you go here. How far is the gap from what they expect things to cost to what the reality is? How, how big of a gap is that? Yeah, we, uh, we found when we asked them, uh, th these were individuals that just had gone on uh, mm -hmm. Medicare, 65% uh, of them told us that they were paying the same or more for health care um, on Medicare than they did before they went on the program. And I think there has been a, a general expectation that Medicare is an entitlement program, um, and those middle-income Americans that are now on Medicare are reminding us it's just not a free ride. Mm-hmm. Uh, because of the economic environment, uh, you know, people are, are, are figuring or probably focusing their, their attention on getting by. Do you see them just putting off health care uh, uh, cost and coverage and what Medicare really is? You're putting, off, putting that off because they just can't really deal with it right now? Well, I, I, we, we do find that when individuals become Medicare eligible, you're, mm -hmm. you're faced with making a, a decision to mm -hmm. enroll in the program and, and uh, work under its uh, coverage and costs. Um, we, we have found that they're very surprised. Uh, they're both pleasantly surprised by the, the access and quality to care, of care mm -hmm. that comes with Medicare, uh, but negatively surprised by its overall cost. Uh, the study found that there are three activities that, and this reflects roughly 80, 78 percent of uh, those on Medicare, have been taking to help reduce cost. One is to switch uh, to generic prescription drugs. I think that's been kind of well publicized in the, in the press, and I think that could be a, a wise decision uh, from a health and coverage perspective. Um, but then there were two other behaviors that the study uncovered that um, I think we ought, we and uh, uh, baby boomers uh, should pause on, and 22% and of those we surveyed are holding off going into the doctor, um, which could mean avoiding necessary preventative care. Mm -hmm. uh, we also found about 15% are changing to less expensive health care plans. So, you know, I think we can learn from those that are on Medicare now what some steps are that they may take to, uh, to help lower their costs. Uh, what do you think people are thinking about uh, possible reforms to health care and, you know, what's always being talked about on Capitol Hill, cuts to Medicare? Yeah, we, we asked questions uh, about health care reform, and the, the general view is uh, most uh, of the individuals we surveyed, those between the ages of 47 and, and 75, 
felt that the government would likely cut their benefits. Um, that's about seven out of ten of them felt that. Uh, that's created a certain level of an anxiety around uh, what the, the cost and coverage might be going forward. When we asked them specifically about health care reform, uh, we felt that well, we heard 51 percent in the study didn't understand how reform would benefit them. Mm-hmm. Um, and 36 percent of them felt that health care reform wouldn't help them uh, at all. We had done a, a study in May that identified that 80 percent of our um, target market, um, in, these are middle income Americans, uh, were concerned about health care and retirement. Mm-hmm. It was their number one concern. Uh, and what we found is that health care and retirement is really a wild card. It's very difficult for individuals to predict what their coverage requirements are going to be, what their health care needs are, mm-hmm. um, and even more difficult for them to, to predict what the costs are going to be. So if you're looking at the study, and there's a lot of information here, um, what, what big surprises, if any, did you find? Well, Scott, you, you hit on one earlier that uh, Medicare is not an entitlement program, mm-hmm. uh, it, it, and it's not a, a free ride. There's a cost associated with it, and there are restrictions to coverage. Mm-hmm. So I think we need to compare the satisfaction that those on Medicare have with the surprise of the, the additional cost. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the, the more we can educate uh, uh, boomers and retirees on uh, the true coverage and cost of Medicare, uh, I think the, the more we'll be able to manage their expectations and limit surprise. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the second observation, the surprise, was just how little uh, baby boomers understood about the overall uh, benefit program. Uh, you know, we found 33% uh, didn't know uh, what the coverage was for doctor visits, 31% didn't know the hospitalization. We found half of them didn't know whether dental, vision, and hearing benefits, which many people may get through their exister- existing employee health coverage, they didn't know whether those would be part of uh, Medicare. So there's a lot of ground we need to cover uh, in terms of education becoming familiar with uh, what is and is not covered in Medicare. So is that the, the overriding message uh, that you're getting here, is that, is that uh, uh, people just don't know enough? Um, is the access to the knowledge easy to get for the average American, do you think? Yeah, th- there are many different avenues uh, mm-hmm. to learn about Medicare. Um, you, know, and, and, you know, just uh, within the last uh, few weeks, I've printed out the 148-page uh, uh, Medicare guide um, that you can get on Medicare.gov, but there are also financial um, uh, professionals that are very familiar with the mechanics of of Medicare and can sit mm-hmm. across the kitchen table from uh, an individual and really explain uh, how the program works and how it would work in their specific um, circumstances. Obviously, I think with retirement, uh, some of the other studies are showing that people are living longer. They probably, for the most part, most baby boomers haven't saved nearly enough or as enough as they should have to manage a retirement. Um, this sounds like it could be incredibly problematic for those who are, you know, seeking Medicare coverage. Yes, there, there's the, the uh, other side of the coin with living longer, and that's whether you're living healthier or not. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, and that can be problematic. Um, one of the... Um, most important things that someone can do in addition to understanding uh, how Medicare works uh, is to stay healthy. Um, a healthier uh, lifestyle will make your retirement more satisfying. Um, and there are a number of steps that individuals are already taking to improve their health around diet, around exercise, around mental exercises. Um, and then there are things that are part of the Medicare program, like free available preventative care. Uh, that can also help people um, stay healthier. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, yeah, I think you're exactly right, Scott, that uh, it's not all about living longer. It's, it's more importantly about living healthier. Mm-hmm. Uh, finally here, as we get into a close, uh, talk about the, the amount of, of, the, uh, of people, for example, who typically supplement their coverage. That's more than half, I'm, I'm guessing, or that I can see from the study here. Uh, yes, we asked them... Uh, how many uh, how many of them are because of the cost and coverage limitations with uh, Medicare? How many of them are seeking out uh, additional uh, coverage options uh, for Medicare? And there are programs like Medicare Supplement and Medicare Advantage uh, that can help. Uh, and we found you know close to 70, 80 percent of individuals are choosing to purchase 
policies like those in order to um, either smooth out some of the, the coverage um, elements um, or to help better manage uh, the fluctuations in, in costs that um, some people may experience on Medicare. Mm -hmm. So I guess um, overall what the message would be is to get yourself educated and, and plan for the cost, I guess. Yeah, I think there's a, a, an element around getting informed. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a, a requirement, you know, I think a, an encouragement that individuals should stay healthy um, and get healthy and then get care. Uh, there, there are a number of preventative care options that folks aren't using today. Mm -hmm. um, I, you know, I'm, I'm troubled when I hear statistics that show that some people are avoiding um, either taking prescription drugs, avoiding uh, getting, uh, going to the doctor. Um, those are important elements of staying healthy in, in retirement. Uh, my guest is Chris Campbell. He is Vice President of Strategic Marketing for Bankers Life. Chris, it's been a great pleasure. Thanks for sharing your knowledge with us. All right. Thank you, Scott. And you're watching Annuity News Now.